This time on Marooned, I'm heading into bandit country. This is somewhere that is legendary for drugs trafficking. This is the Golden Triangle in Thailand, a place of extremes. Travel to a hailstorm. Unbelievable. Home to blood-sucking creatures. Really is leech city today. Right, you're gonna die now. And one of the toughest places I've ever been. My feet are now extraordinarily sore. This one's going to hurt. This is my ride. Helicopter coming in. I'm in northern Thailand, in a remote region called the Golden Triangle. This area was once center of the opium trade, and it's said to be one of the most lawless places in the world. Even today, there could be smugglers in the forests, and that's not all. Poisonous snakes with hematoxic venom, wild pigs roaming free, and a painful number of creatures out to get me. And the motor fades away. I wish I could do justice to the feeling when you get dropped off in a remote environment, completely alone. I don't think I will ever be able to fully explain quite how overwhelming that is. I know the mountain in the distance is called Changdao, but that's where my local knowledge ends. I can see valleys radiating out from the peak I'm on. The question is, which one offers the best chance of water? The problem is, the ground drops down this side, ground drops down to that side, ground drops down towards the mountain. I'm just gonna leave my bag at the base of that tree there and um, drop down and try and find some water. My gut instinct, which is never a bad thing to rely on, is saying, go down that way. Come. It's not very thin bamboo. Bamboo will definitely help me with construction. And bamboo isn't the only useful resource I can see. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, that there, in the very big distance, as you drop down, are banana leaves. And banana leaves, for me, are a very good sign. Banana plants mean food, fluid, and clothes. Standing at the base of these wonderful banana trees. Oh, there. There's a clump of what looks like black bananas. Ow! Quite a lot of spiky things around. I've got nothing to help me get to those bananas, apart from brute force. Luckily, banana plant stems are soft. And I know locals use the pulp inside the stem as a water source. Ah! Oh, we can see the moisture content in that. Ah! Huh. <laughs> Calm yourself, Stafford. It's only fluid. But that is gorgeous. It worked. I don't know whether you could hear that, but that was the distant rumble of thunder. Never that reassuring a sound. That has just suddenly upped the ante massively. A big storm on night one and I am exposed. It's a long hike back up to my kit, so I won't get a shelter made before dark. But this banana bark will make good clothing. It's actually quite good. It's just coming off in big long chunks. This will keep me warmer than if I was naked. Temperatures at night can fall below 15 degrees Celsius. Got myself a banana tunic. <clears throat> That's a really good covering. Okay. I still haven't found water, so I'm taking some banana stem as a fluid supply and heading back to my camera kit. Breaking out of the trees now. Ow! And there's my kit. 
I'd be foolish if I didn't think I was going to get hit by quite a big storm. I'm going to quickly rehydrate from my banana stem, then work out where to spend the night. I'm heading a little way back down the hill where I saw some cover earlier. This is about as thick as the forest gets here. This little patch of ground is where I'm going to sleep tonight. There's lots of leaves. I'm just going to bury myself in the leaves. A layer of leaves will trap air and help to insulate me. Plus, it's quick. But I'm 1,500 metres up and cold. If it rains, I'm at serious risk of exposure. All I can do is tough it out. I really hope it doesn't rain. Good morning. It's day two. It didn't rain, but that was cold. That was very cold. I haven't eaten properly for 24 hours and I'm very hungry. Now, I've got to take whatever I can get. Round here, that means insects. Cicada. Cicada. Spit the wings out. Breakfast of champions. Like everything with a big abdomen, it tastes creamy. Aim for the day. Water and shelter. Yesterday's valley was dry. Today, I'm heading a different way to search for water in the next valley round. This time, I'm taking my camera kit. There's no way I'm coming back to this exposed hillside for a second cold night. This valley's greener than yesterday's. I hope that means water could be near. There are certainly more plants and potential food. <laughs> no warning, no trickle trickle. A silent little stream. Look at that, and it's flowing. <laughs> That's gorgeous. I'm just gonna follow this stream downhill until I find an area which is open enough to use as a campsite. This is lush. This is wet and moist and green. Ah, oh, yes. Space for camp. This is perfect. The big expanse of flat area. Pack off. But it's not all good news. I am just covered in these um, sweat bees. There's also ants all over my feet. There's one. Two, two fat boy leeches. Now I've found my campsite, I can build a shelter. The only tool I need is a knife. After a lot of searching, I found a small piece of slate-like rock in the stream. And that really is a fairly good blade. That I like. Ha! Got myself a knife. That is almost perfect. Frame's complete. I've got a serious amount of thatching to do as well, so it's a big job. I'm slightly running on empty now. My big bamboo shelter is not far off finished. It'll keep me dry for tonight, but it's taken a lot of energy, and I'm in pieces. It will be worth it. It will be worth it. I really need a drink. Really need a wash as well. Just want to try to get the sweat and salt and grime off my skin as well because the sweat bees are driving me mad. <laughs> it gets to me. I've got that layer of grimy scum on my skin. I hate it. I hate it. Plunge in there, <coughs> wash all the wash all the woes away. 
That was so good. That was so nice. I'm going to hit my sack now. I'm heading to a clearing a little way from my camp. It should be a good area for rodents and birds. So nice, just emerging out of the trees. There's lots of little rocks all over the floor. I'm just gonna make a simple rock fall trap. In this type of trap, a rock is held up by a small stick which has been half broken. Bait is attached to a chute coming out of the stick and when something tries to take it, the stick snaps completely and the rock falls. Ow. Found a little cricket hopping around, so I'm gonna stick him on the bait. And that is surely tempting. I'd be very surprised if that little bad boy <laughs> did not provide a mouse for me. I saw tadpoles in the pool where I washed earlier, so I'm going to investigate further. Massive frog. Thank goodness for that. First one's gone, but he's a big boy. Right, you're gonna die now, I'm afraid. It's twitching, but it's dead. Kebabs, he's not running away now. Quite happy with that, not a bad first day's hunting. With all these flies around, he's gonna go off quickly, so I'm gonna just put him over the fire and roast him. He looks pretty done now. Let's go for the legs first. And that one looks pretty good. Wow, oh, there's proper meat on that. It's cooked to perfection. That's the first proper bit of protein and it is tasty. Bit of arm. Just a little front leg, little claw there. That was good. That was really good. I'm halfway through my time here, and I'm doing well. But so far, my rodent traps haven't worked. So I want to try something a bit more ambitious. I'm going to make a snare to catch birds. This sapling here is nice and bendy enough for me to use as the spring lever for my uh, bird trap. Ah. <laughs> that was bound to happen, wasn't it? I'm confident these bear traps are going to work. They will work, they will work, they will work. I got those traps set in the nick of time. The storm that has been threatening since I arrived five days ago has finally come. There's a tree that's just come down. Massive tree that's just split in that wind. Sometimes I think somebody's looking after me. Yeah, it's quite cold after that storm. It's still a bit of a breeze blowing, but it's dark. Um, and I haven't checked my traps tonight, so I'm gonna go and check them. Plus the adrenaline's pumping anyway, so the last thing I wanna do is go to sleep right now. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> Let me open this up for the camera. Oh my god. This is mad, I cannot... <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> we got supper! We got supper after the storm. Oh, that's nice. That tastes like liver. Could be its lungs, though. I think, at the end of the day, you're going to have to crunch through the whole thing, aren't you, Stavs? Otherwise, I'm never going to get all the meat off it. Mmm. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Tastes good, actually. It's meat, at the end of the day. That was a sharp flavour. Mmm. <laughs> I think the ultimate test of 
whether you could really, really survive long term in the mountains of the Golden Triangle is whether you can be truly nomadic. So I'm going to leave camp tomorrow morning and I'm going to go nomadic. Um, I'm going to go walk about and, um, and test myself that I really have made it in this environment. I've already made nearly everything I need to go mobile. My water bottle, my fire kit, got my cooking pot. Morning, it's day nine, preparing to go mobile. I feel slightly apprehensive because I'm leaving my base and I'm, I'm going nomadic. Before I set off into the unknown, I'm gonna check my traps. One has gone off and it's got a bird in it. <laughs> oh, happy days. <laughs> We've got one, some sort of um, wildfowl. Essentially, it's a wild chicken, isn't it? And these bird traps do work. <laughs> I'm heading upwards. This is as high as I'm going to get. It's quite exposed, but it looks like it's gonna be a calm night. This has been worth it, hasn't it? I reckon I've got the ingredients for a Thai curry. Chicken, wild ginger, Indian gooseberries, and bamboo grass. One plate chicken. It's a good amount of meat, that, isn't it? I mean, it's scrawny for a chicken, but um, for one of my meals, that is utterly extravagant. I like that. It's amazing putting real meat in this cooking pot. Thai curry, chicken. This is a feast. It's so good. The wild ginger just means that it's it's like proper food. Oh, that's a wing. Absolutely wonderful. The brains always taste so good. And the eyeballs. What an amazing thing to be doing. Morning, it's day 10. It's almost time to go. This is living to the absolute extreme. It's nothing to do with having to prove yourself. It's nothing to do with having to combat anything or beat anything. This is just life in Technicolor. Life in glorious Technicolor. But all too soon, the moment is gone. As the modern world comes flying in. That is the sound of a helicopter. Time to go home. Time to go home. Put some clothes on Stephanie. Put some clothes on and go home. This has been my most successful trip yet. I don't just feel like I've thrived here. I've actually bonded with these hills and valleys, becoming part of the jungle. And I'll remember my time here for as long as I live.